More now on Southwest Florida Congressman Trey Radel's resignation just three weeks after he told me in Washington that he would stay in office despite breaking the trust voters placed in him. I want to be able to restore that trust, and I think that I've been able to. Back then, Radel was adamant resigning was not even suggested in his inner circle. Has your wife or your dad or anyone close to you said, Trey, the best thing for you to do is not be in Congress right now? No, no one has said that. Um, what people have said is, what can I do to help? I want to support you. I love you, and I'm here for you. At the time, Radel shrugged off Republican leaders who wanted him to step down, saying he could handle the job. They don't think you can. Go to work. Who's they? The, you know, the governor. The governor's a great man. The heads of the who I have Collier it. and Lee County Republican parties. Millions of people go to work every single day, and they're able to strike a balance between their loved ones, work, uh, and that's exactly what I need to do a better job of. And with the support of my wife, uh, I'm able to do that. I'm Amy Wegman. Radel wouldn't say how much his wife, former Fox 4 News anchor Amy Wegman, knew about his substance abuse when she campaigned for him, only referring to it in general terms. I have screwed up in life plenty. He told me he was sharing everything about his past with the House Ethics Committee investigating him. You don't feel like there are going to be any major secrets or bombshells that come that we don't already know. You feel like the worst is out there. My life is here for the world to see. Back then, Radel told me that continuing to serve in Congress was, quote, the best way to restore normalcy in his life. And now we want to hear from you. How do you feel about the congressman stepping down? You can call us with your answer, 239-206-FOX4.